Hello everybody. Welcome to Bobby's live feed. Where am I today? Well, as usual, always waiting for people to come on. Once you switch on, and of course most anglers will be fishing today, but, well, I'm fishing. I am fishing, but um, I'll tell you what I'm doing in a minute. It's just, uh, oh, there's a few people coming on already. Hi, Stephen. He's one of the first ones on. Stephen, welcome to, uh, hi, Roy. Roy from Thailand. Mark Lucas, hello, Mark. I'll show you where I am in a minute, catching fish at the moment, of course, but I'm not, I'm not in a match. In the, when you're doing these live feeds, it's impossible to do it in a match. Some of our sponsored anglers uh, on the commercial side of it do, do, do a video while, they, while they're fishing a match, but I just can't do it. It's, um, hi Dawn, it's just so, so difficult. When I'm fishing a match, right, I don't eat, I don't drink, I don't pee, I just fish. All right, sometimes you have to adjust your tackle. But matches are won and lost with, oh, yesterday, um, what was I, three ounces out of fifth place, got my section by default. Three weeks ago, lost the match by one ounce. You know, it's always so close. Hi, Paul. Hi, Richard. I'm just saying hello to a few people while I'm waiting for you to come on and then I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not fishing a match, but I'll show you where I am. Let me just reverse this camera beautiful it's so lovely and peaceful here and i'm catching some some big fish why i'm here is i've got to make a, a video for browning this week and i was trying to think of a different sort of a venue to make it and if you're making a video you do have to come and and try out where you think might be good um it's no good coming to do a video and then not catching anything. And I want to come somewhere which was quite difficult. And let me just show you this, this venue. This is, let me reverse the camera. Why is that? Ah, oh, that's reversing. There you are. Lovely and calm this morning, isn't it? This is the Great Ooze. Great Ooze, fairly close to, to Down and Market. That's the nearest major town, but... But looking down river there, that, that goes down to what they call a Den, Denver sluice. But this part of the river here, they, I'm going to show you upstream. Can't see anybody about at all. I'm sitting here on my own. And I've just come and sat down, put some feed in, and within a, a few minutes I was catching fish. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Quite wide here. I guess that's... It's probably 40 metres wide, big and deep. Where I'm fishing here, I'll, I'll try and catch a fish for you in a minute. Um, where I'm fishing here, I'll, I'll, it, it must be nearly six metres deep. Hell of a depth. Let me just, let me show you what bait I'm using. So, I've, I started on feeders, so a bit of chop worm and caster. My casters, maggots. There's my feeder ground bait there and some hemp, some real, really big hemp. But I'm, it's so deep, I'm not loose feeding. So I say, I'll catch a fish for you in a minute. Hey, Bernie's, I'll, I'll come back to me. There's there's my normal ground bait. I've packed that with casters. See, it's solid with casters there. Bottle of water, which I've just had one sip out of. Got my pole roller up the bank. There's a road that runs right behind you, so you can, you can actually park. Look, I'm just parked. Let me just show you. I'm parked just there, look. And I'm just walk across... Just walk across the road, but it's one of those quiet roads, isn't it? There's hardly any traffic. Well, you yourself, there's, there's not really um, any wind. So, Mark Lucas is saying, is that 10 Mile Bank? Yes, Mark, they call it 10 Mile. Well, 10 Mile Bank is a village further up, but the river is, I'm between 10 Mile Bank and Denver Sluice. Uh, Martin Edwards. Oh, hello, hello, Martin. It's lovely, Roy. Roy from Thailand. It must be your bedtime, Roy, I should think, in Thailand. Lovely. This this is fantastic. This let's just come back to me for a sec. It it um it it, it must be lovely. Just just I've just come out and just fishing. No, that's all. Just fishing, just to experiment. And I don't really get a chance. I'm doing so much match fishing. Somebody's asking if I didn't hear about a massive fish kill there in the summer. Hmm. No, I didn't, no. Hi, Roy. Yeah, I'm fine. 
Yeah, I missed Ireland as well. Yeah, the same as you. So it's, um, hey, I'm going to catch a fish for you in a minute if I can. I'll show you how difficult it is. I was catching on feeder, but I've set the pole up as well. So I'm going to try and I fit. It's so deep that I'm just cupping in. I've just cupped in two balls solid with caster because it's six metres deep. So loose feeding. I think I'd probably catch the roach here at sort of probably eight foot and loose feeding, but I haven't really not got enough bait for that. So... Uh, I just really wanted to, as I say, I'm making a video next week and I just wanted to make sure there was some fish. And I've had first drop in on the pole, I had a lovely skimmer, and then I've been catching some hybrids and roach. Is it solid? Yeah. I mean, they're quality fish anyway, most of them. Fairly fairly good fish, but I can lift, I can lift sort of four ounce fish on the gear. Hello, Neil. I haven't seen Neil for a while. Phil Jackson. Hi, Phil. So, they're just so beautiful here. Just hear the birds singing, there's odd fish topping. I'm all on my own. And, uh, hey, Bernie's gone to Ireland, left me on my own. I've got to do all my own cooking. Can you believe that? You know, the usual thing, McDonald's, KFC, fish and chips. Breakfast is a, is a, is a slice of toast with Marmite on it and, and some sugar-free muesli. Hey, and, and, and I put some stuff in the dishwasher the other day and found out how to switch it on. His car just gone past. So, um, yeah, she's left me on my own for a week. Can you believe that? And, uh, <laughs> but I've got a good neighbour as well. And, and when I was out with my neighbour, actually, I was out with the neighbours last night. Free, on, I was on a free meal last night and a drop of wine. Let me just put this in here. Let's try and, shall I try and catch a fish for you? Let's fi flick this round. Show you roughly what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you too much because... I'll tell you why, because I'm making a video, so. Let me just have a look, how's that? Is it okay? Look at a little bit of an angle, doesn't it, there? I don't know why. How's that for, yeah, yeah it looks all right, doesn't it? So, hey, Daniel. Yes, fine, Andrew's watching. Andrew, are you not fishing a match? No, you've been fishing so many matches, haven't you? Right, let's see. Oh, Paul, Paul Wagstaff said divorce her. Oh, God. Hey, I can't divorce her. Who else would have me now? <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not 20 years old. Yeah, because Bernie's left me home. Paul said divorce her. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Yeah, Lee said he's missed me in Ireland. Yeah, I missed Ireland as well. So, But this, now, this is really Bobby working because I'm experimenting. I want to make sure there's some fish here for when I come and... And, uh, and do it. So I won't show you too much about the tackle because I want to do that in the video. But I'll try and catch catch a fish for you. I tell you, what, it's so deep here, right? It's so deep here. I've got I'm fishing at about eleven and a half meters short line, and not a lot of line. I'm only unshipping two sections, and then the other the line is finishing halfway down, like the top six. Well, top five on this pole, but it is, you know, that is just fishing a single maggot on a... I don't think it really matters too much. It's always the same feeding. Now, it's so deep, so if I loose fed, the fish would come up, and I don't, I don't really want to muck about with that today. I was going to try and get down to get some bigger skimmers and hybrids near the bottom, but the roach are on the bottom as well. Not got much bait left, a few, uh, few maggots left over from yesterday. Another three ounces yesterday for fifth place. It's so, so tight fishing, isn't it? That was on the year. I had nine pounds. It fished really tough. I've got my section by default. The, I love these defaulted sections. Beautiful, aren't they? Especially when you're on the receiving end. They're not so good. They're not so good when you've won the match and you think, oh, I ain't got my section even. But it was a hundred pounds for, for fifth place yesterday. And fifty pounds for I not that I worry about money really. Well I have to this week, don't I? KFC, McDonald's, Witherspoons. I might try Witherspoons, they're not bad, are they? Just in and out quickly. Quite like that. Single single red maggot. I've got a two gram float on and but I really I should have put a three gram up. I can't be but I'm only mucking about, I can't be bothered. We've got loads of people. Hello, Paul, Paul's watching. Shout out to the old man. Shout out to the old man, Phil Howe, please, Bob. Oh, 
<laughs> Hi, Phil. I've got a shout out to Phil. Keith. Morning, Keith. Did you fish the air yesterday, Keith? I didn't see you, but knowing you, you probably did. Shipping on, would you believe, two sections, and I'm fishing 11 and a half metres. Huh? How about that? And that's, that's awkward in itself, isn't it? I, I think I'd probably catch him sort of, I'd probably catch eight or nine metres to hand, but just wanted to, wanted to get out in the deeper water. It is so deep here. I don't know whether I'll catch. Look, I'm going in. I cupped in two balls, solid with caster, just before I went live. And I've been catching one or two even now on the drop. Even cupping in, you wouldn't think you'd catch on the drop, would you? But, but uh, I've been catching one or two on the drop. Obviously, even when you cup in, even when you cup in a ball of ground bait and you really squeeze it, there's always odd cast. If it's especially if it's very rich, there's always odd casters that come off. And they drift further down your peg. It's running a little bit down towards my left. Now, let's see if I can catch a fish. Uh, it hasn't been that long since I've fed, so I, I should imagine I will. It's not going in and burying, you've got to work a little bit, but it's you know, it's just interesting fishing. Two grams. Fishing, I'm fishing just about dead depth. I'm not fishing over depth. Hey, Bobby never fails you, does he? And it's buried. Not even using me roller when I'm shipping back on these two. Might have to net this one. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely, what's this? Looks like a skimmer. Yeah, it's a skimmer, I think. Right on that ground bait. Come on, yeah, I'll have to net this one. Yes, yeah, it's a nice skimmer. I've been catching some good hybrids as well. Yeah. Just just on that, just where I cupped in ground bait, so you, you make sure, but that is a proper, now it's not a big skimmer, but it's like it's about half a pound or more, I suppose. No, probably 10 ounce. Oh, that's slime up there, but that's, I've been catching hybrids and the first fish I had was sort of similar to this, like a nice big skimmer. Look at that, lovely. Just took a little while, just running. In fact, they're a little bit downstream of the ground bait. Not much, but I suppose you've got casters, just just odd caster just coming off, haven't you? Come on. Making a mess of that, aren't I? That's it. Oh. Do you know what? I forgot to show you that fish properly. I should have shown it. Shall we, shall we try and catch one more? <laughs> All right, we'll try and catch one more for you. This is awkward in itself because it's just so far. Ooh. It's sort of halfway down that number. I'm trying to think what section this would be. Well, it's number five on this pole, but this is a. these are all long sections on here, really long. That must be seven and a half. Yeah, I think that pole's about seven and a half metres at that length. Seven and a half, eight metres. <laughs> and I'm halfway down that, so. And I've not got much line. Beater and a bit of line, that's all. It's not running that hard, but just, just running nicely. I love, I often fish this river in the winter in Ely, in the town centre. There's always good there for catching fish, but it just seems lovely today. So quiet, isn't it? No, normally you're out and there's loads of wind. And shall I catch you one more? I love these live feeds, but I just not when I'm fishing a match. I just you just do not have chance. Do you do not have chance to do live feed at the end of the match? I'm usually racing. You're packing away, racing to pack away. So I'm dropping in, and one on the drop. Then no, I haven't fed for ages. But then roach, obviously, the, where the where the where the ground bait, the cloud ground bait was going in. <laughs> Another one. This is lovely. You don't often get a chance just to come pleasure fishing, do you? This is I'm gonna swing this one. But this this was up in the water. This is a hybrid. Look at that. But they're all nice. That's three or four ounces. All nice quality fish. So that bait never got to the bottom. Lifted me dropper shot, so you get what you call a, a lift bite. 
Can you believe that? In that depth of water, and I just, just had in my mind, if I just cup in, keep try and keep everything down in this depth. Otherwise, you just, when you start loose feeding, you just, you just don't know where they're going to be, do you? And I wanted to try and target some bigger fish. Right, who wants another fish? You need someone else to do the... Why do I need some... Oh, yeah, some... Paul was saying you need somebody else to do the live feeds. You probably do, yeah, he's right. So somebody can open and switch the camera onto the fish and onto your float, but... You know, you can't... I'm not perfection. This is just... Not edited, but I wanted to chat and communicate with you. That's really what I'm doing it for. When, when I'm doing... When I make the video, that will show you everything. I'm going to catch one more fish for you, let's see. One more fish and just say hello to a few people that are watching. And that's really what I do it for, communicate. Communicate with the rest of the world. Dropped in again. Yeah, sorry. I, if I switch the camera out there, I can't have it on the, on the fish. It's just, it's just too hard on the float. Just dropping in. Watching as the float settles. That has settled this time, so it's gone down. Face just top right by me float, so you can tell they're up in the water, some of them. Just drifting just down from where I cupped in. I've had them, I've had one or two fish quite a way down, down the peg. And it's running but very, very slowly, just really nice. I mean, if you wanted to try and hold it, you could just hold it. <laughs> it's lovely fishing, another one. They're all, they're all quite good quality. Might be able to swing this one, though. Oh, no, I can't swing it. Got to net this one. Oh, no, that's a hybrid or a skimmer. Just coming in. Yeah, you'd lo love this to be on the fish, really, wouldn't you? That's three fish for you in no time, isn't it? Just cupping in. This is the Great Ooze. It's owned by Kings Lynn. It's day ticket water, only £3.50 a day, so not expensive. Yeah, that's a hybrid. I'll show you that fish. It's a lovely hybrid. In fact, it might even be a silver bream, that one. Yeah, that's a silver bream. That's a silver bream. Let me just try and... That is a silver bream. Look. Beautiful fish, aren't they? <laughs> fact, they weigh you really heavy. So they look a bit hybridy, but they're not. They are a species. Got itchy nose. Sorry about that. They really are a species. Love watching these live feeds, but a full five-hour match would be great to watch. Yeah, I can't be talking for five hours. Look, shall I catch you one more? So we we just catch one more because we've had three different fish now, haven't we? So let's just catch one more. I'm just enjoying. I just love chatting to you. And I've probably been on for a fair while now, haven't it? How often do you hold back the pole? Uh, not often when it's running really slowly, Tony. So, sometimes I do. But today is just really, it's, it's perfect. Fish are used to bait moving, so t t don't worry about it moving. That, that, they're used to that. But if it, obviously if it's going too fast, like yesterday fishing the match, it was difficult and it was flowing. It was a nice pace, but I did have to, and when I want to, when I want to hold back a float, then I just slightly overshot it just so it makes you hold it back. And that's what I had to do yesterday. I only caught nine pound because it was difficult conditions, but there you are. Let's just catch you one more. One more if I can, because it's just, just such a beautiful day for live feeds, isn't it? Just nice, and it's just lovely to communicate with the rest of the world. How else can you do it? Technology, fabulous, isn't it? E that new iPhone's out soon. I, I might treat myself. 13. Don't suppose it'll be much different to this one, but I just love the, the technology. I'm fit, the water's white, completely white where I'm looking, so I've just got a black... A black top on the float and it just stands out so clearly just as i said there's not a million feet i'm just running down the peg and watching for the bite oh the float picked up speed then whether the water started to run faster or not i don't know no it's a fish a little fish little fish got hold of it 
can't count these ones, can you? Like a... Oh, no, I won't, put, I won't put that one in me net. Look at that. Only about an ounce. I'll put that straight back. Let's try and catch you one more big one and then I'll, I'll finish off because I've been talking for too long, haven't I? Yeah, Bernie's left me on my own. So it's KFC, McDonald's. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. She did do me some, some of them. She cooked me some stuff and put it in the freezer for me to use. But then you've got, you've got to heat it up, haven't you? And then that rice stuff, you've got to put, you've got to put that in the microwave and do it. And then you've got your dirty plates. I don't want none of that. He wants to be doing that, eh? Hi, Paul. Lovely to see so many people coming on. Let's catch you one more. Let's try and catch one more big fish for you. And the good thing about these live feeds is that I will, I can post it. I'll post it and uh, so that you get lots of views on it. Lots of people can see it. Oh, that's silly. I've just got a fish shipping out. I love that in a match. In a match when you when you're catching. <laughs> when you catch when you catch on your little roach. <laughs> Look at that. I just got a fish shipping out. When you when you're in a match and you get that's a real bonus when you catch us too small, I'll put that one back. The, the the river's solid with fish, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely just to come here, peaceful. But a, a big river that's technically difficult to catch. Difficult, not well, not so. No, it's difficult to fish. Sorry, not difficult to catch, because technically, it's um, it's deep. It's not flowing that hard, but it's very deep. So you can fish a feeder. I had some fish on feeder. Uh, oh, James wants me to finish on a on a bream. Uh, Tony wants me to get a pizza. That's a good idea, Tony. Yeah, I can go and get a pizza, can't I? Uh, John is asking where I am. John, I'm at, on the Great Ooze between Ten Mile Bank and down the market, or Denver Sluice. Big, deep river. And even this time of year, a little bit of flow. In the winter, it can rip through. We've got a, we've got a winter league match at Littleport in very early October, about the 3rd. But I'm I'm away on World Championship duties, World Veterans Championship in Slovenia. So that was that was a this one doesn't count because that was a fish on the drop, and I haven't fed for ages. Oh, I've lost it. I haven't fed for ages, and I just just went out and and, and one took it on the drop. Didn't damage the bait though. Let's just try and catch you one more. As I say, you probably could do with three grams here, at least three grams. Let me just try and catch you one more big fish and then we'll call it your fish. In this sort of depth, when you're fishing five or six metres, yeah, probably would, three gram would probably be about right. I don't feel, I feel two grams is okay, but I'm not sure that it, it's enough. Right, I'm right over my ground bait now, just running it down. Float just lifted. It seems to be one or two small fish moved in there. Maybe I, I bet if I put, shall I try, I'll, I'll tell you what I do, I'll try putting a piece of, I often do this, if I do small fish arrive, I'll try put a, a little piece of worm on, just the head of a dendrobina, like sort of like that. So it's just a head of a dendrobina, so a bit bigger bait. I don't know why those little fish are there, because I've only just cupped in. I haven't done anything else. So I haven't done... If I was loose feeding, you could understand it. If I was throwing balls in and cloud was coming off, you could understand it. But So let's try this. Let's see if we can get a... Somebody's just saying happy birthday. It's not my birthday yet. Everybody asks me when my birthday. I, I, I know you put it on Facebook. I never never tell anybody exactly when I was born, but it's very easy to find out. You've only got to Google it. Just Google it, you find out when I was born, where I was born, how much I'm worth, which ain't very much. I'm just, just going to try this piece of worm. It might not work. If it's a skimmer or something down there, yeah, bigger fish now. 
on that worm head. It's funny, I, I, see, I was getting pestered with, with, with little roach, so I've put on a nice, and worm head usually guarantees you better fish. What's this one? I'm gonna just lift this, but this is a hybrid. The other fish I had was a, yeah, that's a hybrid. That's uh, probably three or four ounces. I haven't put my bib and brace on today, so I'm filthy. You see that worm head hanging out of his mouth. That's uh, three ounce, three or four ounce fish. So lovely fish. About all over. Okay, well that's a good one to finish on, isn't it? So I was get started to get some little roach. So I put a piece, big piece of worm on there, a worm head, dendrobina, and then you, you you can catch bigger fish. Right, I'm going to say thank you, everybody, for watching my live feed. I hope you enjoyed it today. Just a, a little short session on a Sunday. And um, as I say, I can't do it in matches, so I do apologise. And, of course, I was doing a lot of live feeds during COVID. Well, it just started to rain, just started a few drips of rain. But during COVID, I, 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 I had more time, but, but now I'm fishing matches every day, so I don't have time. So, But I do appreciate it. Hi, Danny. Danny Sixsmith. <laughs> yeah, sorry you're not going to be with us this year, are you, Danny, on World Champs? But never mind. Uh, Dick Trant to saying, ta <laughs> Okay, bye, everybody. Thanks very much. I really appreciate you watching the live feeds. What I always say is, is without you, we are nothing, you know, without people watching our feeds and and taking part, then then I'm nothing. I am exactly the same as you, but I just I just enjoy doing it and just enjoy chatting to you. And I hope you've enjoyed just seeing me catch some some fish in, in quite difficult conditions. Just cupping in balls of ground bait, five between five and six metres deep. Quite I've got the ground bait really hard but I packed a lot of caster in there so the, the bait was getting down a few casters come off as you cup in and cupping in two balls I think here today looking at it you want probably want to be cupping in two good size balls not little tiny balls packed with caster probably every 30 minutes something like that okay oh sorry Danny yes I, I, I heard that okay um, yeah, Roy Marshall saying he can go to bed. I knew it was bedtime in Thailand. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back on again anyway, um, but I'm here because I'm going to make a video uh, for Browning next week. So those of you that, that haven't seen, um, seen exactly what I'm doing today, it'll all be explained in the video. Bye for now. I'm going to post this and... Uh, those of you that, that haven't seen it or didn't see the start can always watch it. Bye.